Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. On Tuesday, the Golden Bachelor actress posted a picture of herself surfing to her Instagram stories. Leslie, 65, was caught on camera while riding a small wave in the picture. The reality TV actress wore her hair pulled back, skipped makeup, and had dark blue nails done. Wearing a tight wetsuit top to protect herself from the cold, Leslie flaunted her hourglass form. The native of Minnesota showed off her toned, tanned legs by pairing the top with small white bikini panties. With the photo of her amazing surfing abilities, fitness-obsessed Leslie wrote, Tuesday is travel day. Learn to surf. And information about the surfing retreater company is hosting in Costa Rica later this year. Given that Leslie is an ABC star and a personal trainer, her toned physique and athletic image are not surprising. The former professional figure skater has completed 10 marathons, won an aerobics competition, and is a snowboarding enthusiast. Leslie said in her Golden Bachelor introduction video that she dated Prince in her late teens and early 20s, and that the musician composed the song Sexy Dancer about her. As if that wasn't enough. Leslie was there for the 72-year-old Jerry Turner's wedding to 70-year-old Theresa Nist, the first Golden Bachelor. Leslie danced on the dance floor with season 20 of The Bachelor star Ben Higgins during the wedding reception. Despite being ignored by Jerry in the intense season finale of the previous year, Leslie appeared to be in a good mood during the celebrations. Leslie noticed something was off on their one-on-one -on -one date which was before Jerry had to choose between her and Theresa. She persisted even after he dismissed it as unimportant. Later, when Leslie confessed her love to Jerry by alone in her apartment, he said, That is such a lovely sentiment. She started crying right away, as if she knew she wouldn't be chosen by the man she had fallen in love with. Leslie began dancing and surfing not long after being taken to the emergency room for surgery last month. Leslie described the terrifying circumstances on Instagram on December 27, a few days after the surgery. Hello to all of you. In case you're wondering what I did to celebrate turning 65. I spent it in the hospital, she replied reclining in her hospital bed with an IV attached to her arm and dressed in a gown. Indeed, my intestines were clogged, severe cramps, came into the emergency room, where they discovered my obstruction, Leslie continued. She claimed the doctors had informed her that surgery was necessary. It was incredibly arbitrary. The tissue was actually scar tissue from my 18-year-old appendectomy. Leslie then cautioned her fans not to wait 12 hours to visit the hospital if they ever experienced severe stomach Claire problems. Crawley, the Bachelorette has been talking about how much fun being a mother has been. On January 15, she and her spouse Ryan Dawkins welcomed their daughter through surrogacy. She has already shared significant moments with her supporters, and she did it again today. What major news did she reveal? Fans get an exciting baby update from Claire Crawley. Bachelorette Claire Crawley posted a joyful news about her and Ryan's newborn child on Instagram. She also posted a picture of Rowan cradling their newborn daughter, which was gorgeous, along with some wonderful news. Claire mentioned that she and Ryan had taken Rowan to the doctor for a checkup. It turns out that she is in excellent health. She has even put on a pound thus far. Rowan the Little is doing well. Claire has also been posting pictures from past trips. She has been pushing her baby in the stroller on walks around the neighborhood. She saw that on her first day of walking, she had forgotten to bring extras like diapers and a pacifier. She's now enjoying being a mother and is starting to get the hang of it. When she saw her grandmother, for Rowan, Last week was a significant one. In addition to getting used to her new routine at home, she also got to meet her grandmother. 
Claire's mother was met by Claire and Ryan together with their baby daughter. Fans are aware that Claire has been anticipating this momentous day for a very long time. She is aware that her mother has dementia and that their time together is short. She is, nevertheless, making the most of her remaining time with daughter. Getting her mother to spend time with Rowan is part of this. Claire also mentioned how, due to her mother's illness and the doctor's prognosis, she and Ryan had to shift their wedding date up the previous year. As a result, her mother was able to witness a memorable ceremony in which Ryan and Claire exchanged vows. After a year, her mother is doing well and is able to enjoy Claire's first child. Additionally, Rowan already has two sisters. Ryan's ex-partner left him with two girls, and Claire considers herself fortunate to be their second mother. How do you feel about young Rowan? Based on the baby photographs Claire shared, do you believe she's changed already? For more information on Claire and all of your favorite Bachelor Nation Anna stars, Darwin recently Stay said tuned. that she will be shocked if Daisy Kent doesn't win The Bachelor and that she believes Daisy Kent will win. It's safe to say Daisy won over fans' hearts quite fast. Many supporters are rooting for her and will be extremely disappointed if she loses. Daisy went on the season's first one-on-one -on -one date. She seemed to make a nice first impression as she and Joey Graziadi clicked on the first night. Joey Graziadi sensations stress. The last several seasons of the franchise have required a lot of work from Joey Graziadi. On Charity Lawson's season of The Bachelorette, he reached the final two. He was picked to be The Bachelor and is doing a fantastic job at it despite the fact that he did not find love at the time. He has always been a kind man who wants every lady to know that she can count on him. As The Bachelor, Hannah Godwin shared her thoughts about him. He seems to have felt really present with many of the women, in my opinion. Every tear on every cheek has been wiped by him. He's there to wipe away tears if they occur, so I don't think it's an act. It appears to me that he is an honest and decent man. This is accurate, and Joey's admirers just grow to love her more and more. Hannah hopes Daisy Kent prevails. Recently, Hannah Godwin revealed to her supporters who she hopes will win. It appears that Daisy Kent is at the top of her list. Daisy became a fan favorite very fast because she is sincere, kind, and has experienced a lot that has shaped who she is. She is very genuine. The fans enjoyed hearing Hannah's predictions about the winners and the people she would like to see in Mexico. If any of the women from this season don't win, there's a significant chance they'll head to Bachelor in Paradise. Lauren has already left, therefore it's likely that she's headed to Mexico. Who do you think should win? In Mexico, who would you like to see? Comment down below with your thoughts. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.